Oh yeah. So, um, if anybody's been not um, been paying attention to what was going on, John Cena opened up Money in the Bank, talked a little bit about his career, but officially dropped the nuclear bomb and answered the questions that many people were wondering over the course of the last five years was when he was going to officially retire. And he finally announced that in 2025, next year, he will be officially retiring. Now, the big question is, who is his retirement match going to be against? Mm-hmm. That's that's going to be the, the big, you know, the big draw. You know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> do he put somebody over? Do they actually go the route and make him become the 17th time champion? Mm-hmm. On that happen to happen and, and, and if it does happen you know what i mean like how they will they go about it you know we even brought up that after that the jorts are going you know what i mean it's just gonna be up all this stuff that perhaps he should have said in the ring but he showed not to but um a lot of people grew up with john cena we know wrestling because of john cena you know um us that have been watching him, we remember his first fight match, you know what I mean? Like when he came out and um, we had bars, you know what I mean? It was one of the most entertaining things at the time. Going, who would have thought that that guy with the hip hop gimmick will become the person that what, granted the most wishes? Make a wish? Yes. You know what I mean? I believe. Um, the dude, man. Untouchable, but who you said can be his last match? I mean, I'll throw one out there. That he was there yesterday, CM Punk. Yep. Um, but most likely will be somebody like Asim the Baton, maybe Cody. It, it, it could be a multitude of people, but when you look at John Cena's career, you have to think about all the things that the 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 positives and the negatives but how the positives outweigh the negatives because at one point he was looked at as a guy that wouldn't really put young talent over and he kind of denied and debunked those accusations they said he couldn't wrestle then he started adding more to his move set as he went along and when you look at a guy like john cena you have to look at somebody who's going to carry the future of wwe the same way he did so if i'm a betting man i want him versus cm punk somewhere down the line but i don't want cm punk to be his last match because if we're going to pass the torch we have to pass the torch the same way um that he tried to to austin theory and it did didn't necessarily work out so if i could pick cody rhodes i would but if i'm a betting man I would possibly say that that honor needs to go to Braun Breaker. That's who I feel like they should at least pass the torch to because at least with Braun Breaker, he has the charisma, he has the look, he has the build. It's almost similar. The only thing is, is he's not a rapper. 